Iowa. Well, hospitalizations are rising across the country as the flu, RSV, and COVID-19 continue to circulate during these colder months. The latest data from the CDC shows over the last four weeks, there's been a 60% increase in RSV patients being hospitalized among all age groups. As of Thanksgiving week, just under 3% of all deaths in the U.S. were related to COVID, and influenza is trending upward. One in 10 people this week getting tested for the flu, coming back positive. Now, uh, right here in Iowa, Polk County is seeing a significant jump in seasonal illnesses, and the Polk County Health Department is urging Iowans to get vaccinations ahead of the holidays. Local 5's Dana Searles has more on what nurses are seeing and why one family really stresses the importance of treating all sicknesses. Stephanie, according to the CDC, hospitalizations over the past four weeks are up 250% for influenza and 58% for COVID-19 right here in Iowa. And one Iowa family is sharing their story to show the major impacts the flu can have. Nurses say that the holiday season is an easy time for sicknesses to spread, and it's something everyone should be aware of. I would say the last month has been a lot busier, um, and I anticipate that we'll continue to see this busyness well into January. And while some may think it is just the flu, for one Iowa family, it changed their lives. Three-year-old Aisley McCarthy woke up one day with a fever, but no respiratory symptoms. So um, I took her to our local clinic and they wanted to swab her for um, flu, which I'm like, and I'm a respiratory therapist. So I'm like, she doesn't need to be swabbed. She has no respiratory symptoms. Aisley was then diagnosed with influenza A and B. And at the time, my biggest concern was, you know, we're all going to get it. And within 48 hours, she passed away. I never in a million years would have dreamed a healthy three-year-old would pass away from the flu. And um, once Aisley passed away, it was kind of eye-opening because you always want, you know, why, why, why the, you know, why did this happen? Currently, according to the CDC, about 12% of Polk County residents are up to date with the COVID-19 vaccine and only 31% got the updated flu shot. Always be aware, um, get your immunizations. If, if you're high risk, you know, you're, um, you know, a young person, um, pregnant woman, um, over 60, you can get your RSV shot now. The Polk County Health Department says that getting the updated shots will not only protect you, but protect our community and prevent hospitals from being overwhelmed. Stephanie. Dana, thank you. Osceola